वेलकम बैक एवरी वन लास्ट टाइम वी वर डिस्कसिंग सम लीनियर ब्लॉक कोर्स एंड वी डिस्कस सिंपल पैरिटी सिंपल पैरिटी चेक एंड द टू डायमेंशनल पैरिटी चेक सो दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनादर वन नोन एज हैमिंग कोर्ट्स हैमिंग कोर्ट्स ओरिजिनली डिजाइन फॉर डी मेन इक्वल टू थ्री but we can expand it i will tell how in the last original design for the dimen equal to 3 so what are n and k well to find what was n it was the length of our code word and it was the length of our data word to find an n and k we have to first choose a m which is greater than equal to 3 so after choosing that m we can find the n and k like n equal to 2 raised to m minus 1 and k equal to n minus m and the redundancy bits are just the same as you choose m that is r equal to m so let's take an example to explain this okay so i am choosing m equal to 3 so i will get n equal to 2 raised to 3 minus 1 that is 7 and k equals to n 7 minus 3 equals to 4 so we are going to take an example of hamming code c 7 4 okay so the first step is to generate some equations to detect the error and we can correct also single bit only but first need, we need to generate the redundancy bits r0 r1 r2 we can take like a2 plus a1 plus a0 a3 plus a2 plus a1 A one plus A zero plus A three. See, this is our A three, A two, A one, A zero. R two, R one, R zero. This is our whole code word. These four are the data bits: A zero, A one, A two, A three. and these are the redundancy bit we will generate from these equations these equations are not anything permanent you can just take any of the three bits these four data words you you can just just choose any of the three bits and generate these three equations so so these three get generated and they so our data word is formed after generating these three equations so the sender sends this code word and the receiver also has the same equations to check say the receiver has s0 s1 s2 as what was it a2 plus a1 plus a0 plus the redundant bit we added r0 then a3 plus a2 plus a1 plus r1 and a1 plus a0 plus a3 plus uh, r2 uh. so this is the equations generated at the receiver side this was at the sender side the sender used this four bits generated the three bits made a seven bit code word which is sent to the receiver the receiver receives the code word and checks it according to three equations these are the same used for generation plus the additional one 
so this s0 s1 and s2 what will the receiver will do it will take it as a 3 bit syndrome s2 s1 s0 and create a table like this is the syndrome and error okay so the value of s0 s1 and s2 can be 0 or 1 so the table will be like 0 0 0 0 0 1 that is s2 s1 s0 okay 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 and see when the value of s2 s1 s0 is 0 means all the three equation gives 0 that will say that no corruption occurred there is not an error in any one of them as we have seen in simple parity check that if there is no error the equations the parity checks gave 0 the same case is here if not a single error has occurred the s2 s1 s0 syndrome will be 0 so none now 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 so 1 means error in this equation and what hmm, error in this equation only so the only element having only element present in this equation and not in the others is this r0 that is the first redundant bit we added so the error in is r0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 so 1 is here so means in the s1 equation there is an error so the only bit not in others but in this is r1 so the error is in the redundant bit we added and now the next one 0 1 1 0 1 1 so in these two equations error is generated so the element present in these two is as you can see a2 is in these both equations so the generator is in, the error is in it a2 Similarly, if I take this 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in these two equations. So the common bit is, you can see A0, A0. So we can easily say that error occurred in A0. And similarly filling these other, and this one is R2, this is A3, and this is A1. So see, we were able to correctly detect in which bit the error has occurred. So, the Hamming code in this way detects error up to single bit only. But we can make it to detect an burst error also of size n. Error of size n. How do we do so? Well. To detect a burst error of size n, we divide our, let's say, our data into n code words. Code words, okay? And if, like, there is an error here in this bit and this bit, so as we choose code word this, so it won't be able to detect three bits of error, okay? So what we will do, we will arrange this, the code words in this way n, n, n and we will send it according to column wise and we will send this
these this is the first column first column second column second column third column third column so you get the idea how then the equations will be generated for this and we will be able to detect the size of n so you get the idea how this happened okay see you next time